We're not exactly sure when or how this happened, but we do know that when we conducted a surprise audit of the loan department, we uncovered a fake loan in the amount of 175 grand. Then we tracked down three wire transfers from this account, but we couldn't follow where the money went to from there. So, obviously it was an inside job. Obviously there was more than one person involved, and obviously one of those people was from within the loan department. We called in the police to investigate unusual activities in the personal accounts of the loan officers, and lo and behold, one of them, Deborah Hilton, had deposited $12,000 into a new account. Oh, the deposit. No. No, I am not a criminal. I am not on trial. I, I, I don't, you can't ask me any questions. I don't, I'm not answering any questions. Now we compared um, her I, handwriting to the signatures on the fraudulent loan, and they matched. She was arrested. She pleaded not guilty to embezzlement and fraud. Yeah, but I see a problem coming up here. Yeah, we've got a big problem. Now, we have circumstantial evidence linking her to the loan, but we have absolutely nothing linking her to the wire transfers. She had no access. She couldn't have done it, which means that she must have had accomplices. Mm. So we've got three choices now. We can go with the case that we have, which is flimsy. We might get Hilton. The others would go free. We could plea bargain, definitely get Hilton. The others would go free. Or immunity, Hilton goes free, but we can nail the others.